In this lesson, we're going to quickly review the rules for dividing polynomial expressions. In each of the examples, you'll notice there's a monomial or a single term in the denominator. We never have a plus or a minus uh, between terms in the denominator. And that's because of the note at the bottom of your page, which we'll focus on first. You'll see when we're solving these questions, if the plus or the minus is in the numerator or in top, then we divide each term by c, or in, by the denominator, in this case c. So a over c plus b over c. That's how we simplify that. However, if the addition or subtraction is in the denominator, there's nothing we can do. So at this point, we're not going to simplify those at all. We're going to leave them as they are. But if the addition and subtraction is in the numerator, we break it into individual pieces. And we'll see that in examples E and F. So let's go back now to example A. So in A, we have 3 in the numerator, and the constant in the denominator is 1. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. So remember, we're dividing numbers with numbers, letters with letters. So C and C. Power 7 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. So we subtract exponents, so that gives us C to the power of 5. In B, 16 divided by 4 is 4. x cubed in the numerator, x to the power of 1 in the denominator. 3 minus 1 is 2, so x to the 2. And y to the 5 in the top, y squared in the bottom, so that's y3, 5 minus 2. Negative divided by negative is positive, so that's positive 4. 3 minus 5 is negative 2, so we can put negative 2 as the exponent for r, and 5 minus 1 is 4, so the exponent for t is 4. The other way to do this is to write it this way, and put r squared in the denominator, so that's using exponent rules. So either of those solutions is fine. d, 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4, x to the 3 minus 1 is x to the 2, y 2 minus y to the 1, so 2 minus 1 is y, or y to the power of 1. E and F is where we see the rule we noted before. So we have an addition in the numerator. So the first step is to write it in two parts, so that we have 4a in the denominator of each. And now each of these we treat like the first four questions. So 12 over 4 is 3, a squared over a, or sorry, a cubed over a is a squared. 8 over 4 is 2, a squared over a is just a. And in the last one we can do the same. We'll first write it as three separate fractions or divisions, putting the numerator in individual parts and putting the denominator with each one. So it's like undoing a common denominator really if you want to think about it that way. And that's 2xy there. Alright, let's see if we can squeeze this into the screen here. 4 over 2 is 2. x3 over x is x squared. y over y, that's y to the 0 or 1 so we can ignore that. Or those cancel in other words. So minus 8 over 2 is 4, x squared, x leaves just x, y squared, y leaves just y. And last one, 12 over 2 is 6, x and x can cancel here, y3 over y1 is y squared. So there's the division examples. So practice the ones in the textbook, page 32, as we can see here. Make sure you know how to do that. and. I'll see you in the next lesson.